Hey guys, thanks for checking out uh, my latest video on the G0704 CNC conversion. My name is Russ, and today we're going to talk about what it cost me to uh, get converted to CNC. So this is going to be uh, a course, super exciting, but if you don't have the time or you don't care, um, this file is available for download at my website, randomruststuff.com. So if you don't want to listen to me talk about why I bought what I bought, go ahead and download the file. Uh, there's a link in the description, and you can use this as a jumping off point for your own CNC conversion. Uh, as a disclaimer, um, this is not everything that you may need to do the CNC conversion. This was simply everything I needed. I already had some of the tools and you know materials necessary to do the conversion. Uh, but I would say overall, this is within a couple hundred bucks of what you could expect to spend if you went with the same build that I used. And of course, prices you know didn't change much between now and then. Um, overall, I spent right around four grand, and that included the price of the mill. So we're going to break this down into categories, and we'll start with electronics. I bought everything from Kelling. Uh, they're they're now going by AutomationTechnologiesInc.com, and this kit uh, came as a suggested group from uh, Hasa's G0704.com. He lists several different uh, kits that you could go with for this mill specifically, and I kind of chose one from the higher end. I didn't want to get smaller motors and then ended up being disappointed and having to spend more money on, you know, bigger motors. So I just went with kind of the bigger stuff in the beginning. And it does cost more uh, because then you've got to buy, you know, bigger drivers and you need a bigger power supply. And uh, But there's money to be saved here. You don't necessarily need to go with what I, what I chose. Um, as far as a computer, I budgeted a couple hundred dollars here, but I actually got one for free. So I'm not sure why I wrote 23009. Um... A buddy of mine gave me an old Pentium 2 that he had bought 10 years ago, and uh, it's been working really good. So just find some cheap computer off the classifieds, and uh, you'll be fine. As far as electronics enclosure, this was from another Dell computer that I had. It's an old uh, clamshell server case, and it, it was a nightmare to use, but I had it, and... Uh, that's why it was cheap and got the job done. Anyway, I've got an upcoming video all about the electronics, uh, so stay tuned for that. And let's talk about hardware. This is pretty much all about the ball screws and getting them hooked up to your motors. Uh, I went with the C7s from Linear Motion Bearings eBay store. You could save some money here and go with some Roton screws, but I was afraid, you know, getting the Rotons and then always wondering about the C7s. So again, I just sprung for the little bit nicer screws up front. Everything else in this list is all about hooking those screws up to the motors, and you really pretty much need all of that, so I'm not sure there's a lot of money to be saved um, for the rest of that category. For software, I'm using Linux CNC as the controller, and I do plan on going with Mach 3 eventually. I think it, it looks like it has you know a lot more features and you know built-in things that would be handy to have. Linux CNC is very, very basic, but it is actually kind of difficult to get started and I found there wasn't a ton of super helpful online information. Uh, so if you end up going with Linux CNC to save some money, go ahead and use me as a resource. I'm happy to help out if you have questions. Um, but yeah, eventually I'll, I'll be going with Mach 3. Uh, the G-Wizard calculator um, is for feeds and speeds and this isn't necessary either, but I figured that 100 bucks was either going to get spent replacing worn out and broken end mills uh, or I could buy a calculator and you know, actually feel confident in what I'm doing. So I spent the money on the calculator. And then, of course, Haas's DVD uh, for the conversion. Not really software, but we put it in this category anyway. Uh, on the tooling list, this is all about... Um, it, it's kind of just a common sense approach of what I thought I was going to need. Uh, the Glassern 5-inch vise is kind of a more expensive 5-inch vise. You could go with, like, the Shars 5-inch. And if you take a look at my Glassern uh, video... Um, in the comment section, a lot of people mentioned the Shars Vice, and people are having great luck with it. So you could save some money there. Clamp kit, parallels, indicators, you're pretty much going to need that stuff. The face mill is not absolutely necessary, but it is handy. And then all of the collets, end mills, and holders, you could probably pare that down quite a bit. Honestly, a one quarter inch end mill probably would make all the parts you need for the conversion. Um, I did need the boring bar setup, and that, that I actually use that quite a bit, so that's kind of necessary. And then in for my application, I did need a bunch of taps and drill bits and stuff. Uh, like that granite surface plate, that's not really necessary at all. And uh, yeah, definitely some money to be saved there. Um, as far as this column over on the right, this is kind of a journal of my spending. Um, 
when I was doing all my research, I noticed on the CNC zone that a lot of guys have these great write-ups and they would take months to get their conversion done. And I thought it can't really take that long. So I decided to uh, track mine and sure enough, it did take several months. So it's actually a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> it was a lot harder and took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, uh, to be. But in the end, I'm very, very happy with it. And, uh, yeah, it's been great so far. I, I, I like everything about this conversion. So anyway, again, uh, I guess that pretty much sums it up. It is like three in the morning and I am super tired. So I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching guys. If you have questions or comments, post them below. Don't forget to subscribe and, uh, we'll see you in one of the next videos. I got several more, uh, upcoming videos just going over the details of the CNC conversion. So stay tuned.